have the Henry 44 Magnum today. I guess you'd call this model the big boy. It has an octagon barrel. You'll notice a kind of a peculiar looking sight on here. But if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll, you'll notice that I like to take certain calibers. This is clear. Take certain calibers and uh, take them out a little further than they really should be taken. And if you think about it, this is uh, would be right in Elmer Keith's alley if he was still alive. He uh, used to do a lot of uh, legendary big game hunter taking all sorts of game with a 44 Magnum. So I put some holes in the face of this little feeler gauge. So between that and the elevation choices that you have, if you'll notice, you really can take this out a lot further. And you know, why would you want that? I guess if you were shooting at a deer, you wouldn't want to do that. But we do a lot of steel shooting here. And it's quite a lot of fun to take a 44 Magnum out to 600 yards and be lobbing in these big 240 grain uh, jacketed hollow points. I refer to this as a small automobile at 600 yards because actually this takes up a huge amount of space in your field of view at 600 yards. It's rather large. I was doing a 6 o'clock hold and holding off to the right about 2 feet just to get on the target. You know, one of the problems with iron is, is you, you can only shoot as far as you can see. And you get to the point at around 600 yards where you really can't see your hits. So you need somebody with optics to, to spot for you. Still high though, huh? Yeah. Wow. Just a tad that time. Okay, I'm doing a 6 o'clock hold off to the right. High again. Holy crap. Four or five inches over. Come down to click. Well, here it is. Perfect elevation up to the left. Got it. Dead center right. Your, your elevation is perfect, but you're to the right of the left. Got it. Left. This that was left. Killer, huh? Yeah, I didn't jerk the last shot. Okay, okay. got it sudden. again. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> Your first shot. I thought you weren't even close because I saw nothing. And then all of a sudden it finally comes in. <laughs> it takes them a long time to get there. Great report, though. Oh, yeah. Because you know, it just, you're waiting and waiting. Well, there it is. Okay. That thing's like a beach ball up there, too. <laughs> it's like literally like almost like a car parked up there next to the target, so... Yep. That's cocked. You said the set was which one? Uh, back one. Back one. Yep. Okay, here we go. I wasn't quite ready for the trigger, but fortunately I had it pointed like, in the right position. It makes you kind of doubt yourself. It's like, ah, oh, I missed. Dang. How, does, how do the triggers... First try! It's huh? not that hard! It's <laughs> not really that hard to do, is it? <laughs> Practice. Oh, 